In this video, I'm going to use Maxima to solve our first order and second order ODEs. So for illustration, I'll be looking at uh, the ODEs which are appearing on the right there. So looking at the first one here, we are looking at the derivative of y with respect to x plus 3x squared y is equal to exponent of minus x cubed multiplied by sine x. So to enter the derivative of y with respect to x, I put the apostrophe, then type in diff the derivative of y with respect to x, so it's a comma, x. And then put the plus there. Then we are looking at a 3, then multiplied by, so it's a, the multiplication sign on the keyboard there, multiplied by x squared, so it's x, then to the power 2, then multiplied by the y is equals to exponent of minus x cubed, so it's exp, open parenthesis, minus x, then to the power 3, then I go out of the parenthesis, then you are multiplying by sine, open parenthesis, sine x, then I'll go on and press shift enter. So it gives us the ODE there, this is the output, so just check if the ODE would that uh, you want to enter is the one which is coming out in the output there. If it's not the one, then you would just have to retype on the part that would have made a mistake here. So in this case, this is our ODE that we are looking at. And if it is the ODE that we are looking at, then uh, we can uh, go on and uh, solve uh, that ODE. And to solve, we use the function ODE2, then open parenthesis. And then I'll put percent. And the percent sign is saying that we are taking the previous output, this one here, which is the ODE that we are solving. So we're taking the previous output here, and we want to solve y in terms of x. So it's y, comma, x. Then I press shift enter. And we have the solution there, y is equal to exponent of minus x cubed multiplied by c minus cosine of uh, x. So that's uh, the general solution there of uh, and this ODE, which is here. So I can now move on to question number two. We are now looking at uh, the second order Cauchy oil equation there. So I enter the ODE, x squared multiplied by we are looking at the, the second derivative of y with respect to x. So it will be apostrophe, diff, open parenthesis, and then we are saying we are differentiating y with respect to x, but now this is a second derivative, so we put a comma, put a 2, to specify it's a second derivative is different from uh, the first one here, it was just a first derivative, so we do not write anything here, just say y with respect to x. But for a second derivative is y with respect to x, specify that it's a second derivative. I move out of the parenthesis there, and then we have a plus, and then 8, the 8 we are multiplying it by an x, then multiply it by the derivative of y with respect to x. So it's uh, the apostrophe, and then diff, and open parenthesis, the derivative of y with respect to x. And then uh, I go on to the next part then, which is the plus 6, and then times the y. So plus 6 times y. And then is equal to zero. And then I'll go on and press shift enter. Let me just go up to see our equation. So this is our equation x squared, second derivative of y with respect to x plus 8x multiplied by the derivative of y with respect to x plus 6y is equal to zero. Now go on and solve it. So solve that equation there and we use the function ODE2, just as before, ODE2, open parenthesis, and we are solving the ODE, which is here, the previous output there, 
so it will be percent is taking the last output that we have there so percent comma and then we are solving for y in terms of x so i will then go on and press shift enter and we have the solution there is a, a constant k1 divided by 5x plus a constant k2 divided by x to the power 6 so that's the general solution for this ODE here I now move on to the next question there we are now having the ODE y prime prime minus 2y prime minus 3y is equal to 0 given the initial conditions y naught is equal to 2 y prime naught is equal to 14 so I'll start by entering that equation there so apostrophe and if then uh, I'll press on um, open parenthesis there and then we are looking at uh, the y with respect to x and it's a second derivative and then minus 2 then multiplied by the derivative so it's uh, the apostrophe and if open parenthesis the derivative of y with respect to x so this one is uh, just a first derivative so we don't input anything there so we have minus 3 then multiplied by y is equals to 0 so I'll press on shift enter there and we have the equation there the second derivative of y with respect to x minus 2 times the derivative of y with respect to x minus 3y is equals to 0 so that's the equation that we have there and we have entered it correctly so we go on enter solve it so to solve it there we'll say ODE2 and ODE2 there open parenthesis we are saying we want the solution of the ODE which is in the output that we have uh, just obtained here so it's percent and then we are solving for y in terms of x and it will give us the general solution so i'll go on and press shift enter so the general solution there is saying y is equal to a constant k1 multiplied by exponent of 3x plus k2 multiplied by exponent of minus x but what you now need is uh, the particular solution given those initial conditions so we need to input now the initial conditions for the initial conditions we we'll type ic2 open parenthesis and then we are saying we are putting the initial conditions into this general solution so it's the previous output that we have so i can just say percent there and then i put a comma and then say when x is equal to zero and comma when x is equal to 0, we are saying y is equal to 2. Then comma, we are having the derivative of y is equal to 14. So it will be apostrophe, then a diff. Open parenthesis, and the derivative of y with respect to x. And then we are saying that derivative there, when x equals to 0, is equals to a uh, 14 so that's the 14 there then i'll go on and uh, press and shift enter so let me scroll up so it gives us the solution there y is equal to 4 multiplied by exponent of 3x minus 2 times exponent of uh, minus x so what we are having here and that's the solution of this ODE given these initial conditions so we have now finished solving both three ODEs now if, if, if this is a, an assignment that we want to submit you then need now to edit there to put a heading put the names of the group members and label the question numbers so what you do let me just go up there so I can just put my arrow let me go up I'm pressing the up arrow so I'm now at the first one there just before the first input here what's the first input is this one here and my cursor as you can see here is blinking here just before the first input so I'll go on on this part here 
here it was saying as we were entering the commands but you now want to enter text so I'll press and let me enter a title here so the title that I'm entering will say this is assignment assignment 1 so if this is assignment 1 there and then I'll go on and uh, press uh, uh, the arrow there down then we need to enter the names of the group members so for the names of the group members let me just put here one text so I'll put text here and then type the group members there so for the first group member we are having a senem a senem senem one then we have registration number one then you indicate the department so you indicate the department there and then uh, I'll go on and uh, press and enter here and then enter the senem of group member two and then the second uh, registration number and then indicate the department of uh, this person and then enter senem number three and then uh, let me just put uh, I typed it wrongly then so it's senem senem three and then you type in the range number of this person and then uh, indicate on the department so type in until you have uh, the five members of, uh, of the department there so when I'm done I can now move on to the next part so the next part is now labeling this one because this was person number one so I can label this as uh, a section here so I can put a section there so I'm saying solution solution one so just type in solution if it's number one then type solution one or two type solution two and then press uh, the down arrow so that you go to the next question and the next question was starting on uh, was this one was then solving then on this part is now the solution but now on this part here we now entered the second problem so I, i'm still on section here and i'm now get my cursor here just before the next question so i will now type this one as yes. solution solution 2 and then i press the down arrow until i go where we started solution number three so uh, the solution the solution number three started here and this one here so i will now type solution solution 3 let me just press the solution 3 so I typed all the numbers to the solutions there and you go on and type all the numbers for the questions that are appearing in the assignment so the next step now is uh, to export this as an HTML file so on top go where it says file here yeah. then on file click on export and then export it will ask you to give his HNM so I'll say this is a assignment assignment you can put the name that you want there and the file type that it is outputting there is an HTML file and then I'll go on and save it will ask you way to save in this case i'm saving in my downloads so i just uh, click on save there and then it will and then the file has been saved so you can go to the location where you saved the file then look for it there so when i go to my downloads i save the file there that i've saved so i can double click on it and it opens so this is the file as you can see just the assignment then uh, the the synonyms there the register number department so this is what you want so we have solution one solution two it's giving the input the output the input the output so that's how things will come out there but for the assignment i said i will need the file format to be a pdf 
So you can just change this HTML file to a PDF file. In this case, I'm using this browser Safari. So I'll just go to File, and then Export as PDF. So I can click Export as PDF. And then I can just specify where I want to save uh, the file there. I can just specify that I want to save it as in the downloads there. And then I'll click on Save. So I click Save there. And then I'll go to the file downloads to look for the file. So in the downloads, we can see the file is now appearing here, Assignment PDF. Let me just click on it and uh, we see that uh, the file is here, Assignment 1, and it's now in PDF format. So the PDF is the one that you would uh, upload. So you send me this PDF file, not the HTML file.